Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today guys, I went thrift store shopping today looking for a pair of lamps for my tables. So I ran across these beautiful brown ceramic lamps that are back in the early 70s. So if you're interested in wanting to know how I changed these brown lamps from this to these, then please guys, continue watching. Okay, guys, here we are diving right in. As you can see, both lamps here are already on the counter. The one farthest from me, of course, has already been prepped and ready. Now, I'm going in with a clean solution of water and pine saw here, giving this lamp a good wash down before I go any further. Now, as you can tell, these lamps also have a lot of detailed work on it, and that's what drew my attention to it. And these lamps are very old, guys. They are very old, but I am eager to turn them into something more new and modern. As you see here, this lamp did come with its share of scrapes and pieces missing, but that's okay because when I paint these lamps, you wouldn't be able to tell it. Okay guys, after letting the lamp dry, here we are ready to prime. I'm going in with some paint primer here by Glitten. Now, I love this primer here and I'm using a sponge applicator. As you can see, the lamp has a lot of detail and I wanted to make sure I got in between each piece of that detail to make sure the lamp is covered very well before I go in to paint. All right, guys, here we are the very next day. The primer has dried and we are outside ready to paint. Now, I'm going in with one of my favorite spray paints here, and this is by the brand Krylon. Now, I will be doing at least three coats on this lamp. And the reason being, guys, because it would give me a beautiful finish as well as making sure every inch of this lamp is covered. All right, guys, here we are six hours later. As you could tell, the lamps have been painted and everything is looking exactly how I want it to. The lamps are bright and white and it gives me the nice polished finish. So guys, it's time to put the finishing touches on these two lamps here. So we're gonna go right in and do a little embellishing. Now, I did, however, pick up a few things from my local Hobby Lobby store. So I picked up these craft brushes here. I did pick up a small bottle of more Mod Podge. Okay, and I also picked up a can of this silver loose leaf paper. Now going in with the Mod Podge guys, I'm using one of the smaller detail brushes and I'm going into some of these leaf areas around the top. Now I will be doing every other leaf, okay? And I'm using very little Mod Podge here before I apply the silver loose paper. Now, however, I did make sure that my Mod Podge was very tacky before I started applying this loose paper, guys. All right, guys, here we go with a flat brush. And I'm taking this brush in just to push down the loose leaf paper, making sure it adheres just right where I applied the Mod Podge. Now, we'll be repeating this process in every other leaf detail around the top of this lamp. Thank you. 
All right, guys, this is the finished product. My only question is whether or not I want to just continue to use the white shades or switch them out for some black shades. You tell me what you think. I will make sure I leave everything that I used in the description box below. And until then, guys, thanks for watching.